let's continue to read in uh, Leviticus chapter 7 in the King James Version. Likewise is or likewise, this is the law of the trespass offering. It is most holy. In the place where they kill the burnt offering shall they kill the trespass offering, and the blood thereof shall he sprinkle around sprinkle round about upon the altar, and he shall offer of it all the fat thereof, the rump and the fat there that covereth the inwards, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is on them, which is by the flanks, and the caul that is above the liver, with the kidneys, it shall be it shall he take away. And the priest shall burn them upon the altar for an offering made by fire unto the Lord. It is a trespass offering. Every male among the priests shall eat thereof. It shall be eaten in the holy place. It is most holy. As the sin offering is, so is the trespass offering. There is no, or there is one law for them. The priest that maketh atonement therewith shall have it. And the priest that offereth any man's burnt offering, even the priest shall have to himself the skin of the burnt offering, which he hath offered, and all the meat offering that is bacon in the oven, and all that is dressed in the frying pan, and in the pan shall be the priest that offereth it. And every meat offering mingled with oil and dry shall all the sons of Aaron have one as much as another and this is the law the sacrifice of peace offerings which he shall offer unto the lord if he offer it for a thanksgiving then he shall offer with the sacrifice of thanksgiving unleavened cakes mingled with oil and unleavened wafers anointed with oil and cakes mingled with oil a fine flour fried Besides the cakes, he shall offer for his offering leavened bread with the sacrifice of thanksgiving of his peace offerings. And of it, he shall offer one out of the whole oblation for an heave offering unto the Lord. And it shall be the priests that sprinkleth the blood of the peace offerings and the flesh of the sacrifice of his peace offerings for thanksgiving shall be eaten the same day that is offered. It is offer. He shall not leave any of it until the morning. But if the sacrifice of his offering be a vow or a voluntary offering, it shall be eaten the same day that he offereth his sacrifice. And on the mor- morrow also the remainder of it shall be eaten. But the remainder of the flesh of the sacrifice on the third day shall be burnt with fire. And if any of the flesh of the sacrifice of his peace offerings be eaten at all on the third day, it shall not be accepted, neither shall it be imputed unto him that offereth it. It shall be an abomination, and the soul that eateth of it shall bear his iniquity. And the flesh that toucheth any unclean thing shall not be eaten, it shall be burnt with fire. And as for the flesh, all that be clean shall eat their of. But the soul that eateth of the flesh of the sacrifice of peace offerings that pertain unto the Lord, having his uncleanness upon him, even that soul shall be cut off from his people. Moreover, the soul that shall touch any unclean thing as the uncleanness of man or any unclean beast or any abominable unclean thing and eat of the flesh of the sacrifice of peace offerings, which pertain unto the Lord, even that soul shall be cut off from his people. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, Ye shall eat no manner of fat, or of ox, or of sheep, or of goat. And the fat of the beast that dieth of itself, and the fat of that which is torn with beasts may be used in any other use, but ye shall in no wise eat of it. For whosoever eateth the fat of the beast, of which men offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord, even the soul that eateth it shall be cut off from his people." Moreover, ye shall eat no manner of blood, whether it be a fowl 
or of beast in any of your dwellings. Whatsoever soul it be that eateth any manner of blood, even that soul shall be cut off from his people. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, He that offereth the sacrifice of his peace offerings unto the Lord shall bring his oblation unto the Lord and the Lord of the sacrifice of his peace offerings. His own hands shall bring the offerings of the Lord made by fire, the fat with the breasts it shall he bring, that the breast may be weighed for a wave offering before the Lord. And the priest shall burn the fat upon the altar, but the breast shall be Aaron's and his sons and the right shoulder shall he shall ye give unto the priest for an heave offering of the sacrifices of your peace offerings he among the sons of Aaron that uh, uh, offereth the blood of the peace offerings and the fat shall have the right shoulder for his part for the wave breasts and the heave shoulder have I taken of the children of Israel from off the sacrifices of their peace offerings, and have given them unto Aaron the priest and, his, and unto his sons by a statute forever from among the children of Israel. This is the portion of the anointing of, uh, of Aaron and of the anointing of his sons, out of the offerings of the Lord made by fire, and the day when he presented them to minister unto the Lord in the priest's office, which the Lord commanded to be given them of the children of Israel in the day that he anointed them by a statue forever throughout their generations. This is the law of the burnt offering of the meat offering and of the sin offering and of the trespass offering and of the consecrations and of the sacrifice of the peace offerings which the Lord commanded Moses in Mount Sinai in the day that he commanded the children of Israel to offer their oblations unto the Lord in the wilderness of Sinai okay so again there's a lot here <laughs> sermon upon sermon upon sermon <clears throat> But listen to this <clears throat> in verse 35. This is the portion of the anointment or an anointing of Aaron and of the anointing of his sons out of the offerings of the Lord made by fire in the day when he presented them to minister unto the Lord in the priest's office. So here's the Lord telling Moses that this is what the people are to do and, and that the priests who are going to be Aaron and his sons are going to be able to partake in these offerings forever and ever and these choice holy offerings that's amazing that is amazing so <clears throat> they're not going to be selling and buying and they're not going to be creating businesses and such because everybody's going to be taking care of everyone and then in, in including including Aaron and his sons, who are the Levites, are going to be taken care of by being able to eat of the most holy things. And so the Lord's giving them guidance as well, where to eat it, um, how long they can eat it as well without it uh, being the rest needing to be burnt up. And so he's giving complete guidance even to the priests. That's a lot, right? That's that's a lot of information. And this is the portion of the anoint, anointing of Aaron and of the anointing of his sons, meaning that they were anointed to be holy. And so this is also to be holy. So they're eating of the holy things because they are too considered holy unto the Lord. So they get to be anointed they get to have the blood on the right ear and the right thumb and the right toe um, and be consecrated for holiness and then get to partake thereof of the food that's being sacrificed. And this is a, a statute. This is something to happen for generation to generation to generation. So the Lord was taking care. Uh, so the priest, you know, they were like, okay, so we don't get any land. We don't get to uh, be businessmen. What are we going to do? What are we? Gonna, how are we going to eat? Well, you're in my service, so you're going to be able to eat the holiest of the holy things. Is there ever a doubt 
when you go somewhere and you eat something that is this good for me? Hmm, I wonder. There would be no doubt whatsoever if you were partaking into the holiest of holy food. I mean, that's amazing. Guaranteed every time to be wonderful. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> because you're partaking in the best and it, it's holy. <sighs> What a guarantee. What a guarantee from from the Lord. And so thinking about that, bringing past to present, I mean, something as simple as taking it verbatim. Have you ever been in a situation like you've been somewhere? What? Maybe it's a get together. Who made that? I wonder who made that. Is that going to be okay? Am I going to have to go someplace afterwards, you know, am I gonna, is it gonna be, am I gonna get bubbles somewhere? (laughs) Thinking about that. So, things to think about, also potentially things to do. We can give thanks to the Lord. We can pray to the Lord at any time, including praying over a meal, including praying and thanking the Lord for blessings of having the meal. Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever even thought about maybe a prayer could prevent you from having any type of issues? Because we do have a living Lord and um, all things through Christ are possible. I don't know. Just something to think about, right? (laughs) Take some notes, right? Think about it in your life. Before we go on, though, what kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind when we read over this? How does it make you feel and what does it make you think?